All right, guys. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a uh, video here on processing a domestic domestic rabbit. A friend of mine gave me three of these Californians. They're about uh, 17 to 18 weeks now, and uh, so they're definitely hitting the um, you know three five pound mark. I'd say they're probably closer to five. This one's the biggest of the three. They're all males. And uh, so, uh, can't really do uh, any breeding with all males. So, got uh, got three rabbits here. I'm going to process them, get the uh, meat in the freezer, and then I'm going to also uh, tan their hides. Uh, so we're going to salt them, and I'm going to try a method I haven't used before. So, uh, give me a second, get some things set up, and I'll uh, show you what I plan on doing. All right. So I have a. Uh, the bucket here just full of uh, clean water in case I need to rinse anything off. I have my salt and finishing nails and a hammer for the hides. Over here I have my uh, Condor Nesmic I'll be using to uh, quarter. I have a cutting board and three gallon size freezer bags. I have a chopping block with my axe here. And I'm going to be using a method called broom sticking. Uh, basically, you take the uh, the handle, uh, in this case it's a rake, and lay it over the back of the neck and pull up on the hind legs. Um, the rabbits don't look or, uh, up or backwards, uh, so it's a quickest and easiest, most humane way is to just snap their neck, no pain, instant kill. Yeah, I've seen methods where you can just uh, dislocate that vertebrae, or you can just hit it with a club. Um, buddy of mine who does quite a few rabbits this is his method so we're going to give it a go uh, here's a little temporary pin that i set up for these three rabbits i've had them for a day and a half now um, i just wanted to give them water which uh, helps with the um, uh, processing and cleans out their digestion so you have a little less to deal with inside the gut um, so see there um, just uh, did a box for a simple shelter overnight um, I got there's a uh, there's two of the guys there and the other one's hanging out right there so I'm gonna get one of these guys and get started on it and uh, I'll bring you back in after I uh, disperse the animal. Um, some people don't like seeing that sort of thing. So I'm going to uh, take care of one and then I'll, uh, I'll show you the process and I'm going to try to save the hide. Uh, also keep in mind, um, depending on what you plan on doing with the rabbit's hide is how you're going to process this thing. You can uh, easily um, do it in a method where you're not going to save the hide. Um, there's plenty of videos, uh, especially at uh, Wilderness Outfitters, that does uh, videos on that, um, talking about kind of removing the, the shirt and the pants. And you make a, a incision right in the center of the back, and then you uh, just pretty much pull the shirt over its head and pull the, the back side of it straight down. Um, that method, it's going to mess up the hide. So when you do it that way, it's just you're doing it for food. So uh, when you uh, when you do it the way I'm gonna try to do it, I'm gonna basically make two incisions around the legs, and then bridge the gap right underneath the tail and the anus, and go all the way uh, to the other side of the leg, and then pull the whole hide down all the way down to the head. Um, I'm gonna do it that method, and then that way uh, I have a full solid hide to work with. Um, I'll cut around the front legs as well and then once you uh, decapitate the animal um, then you save that section of the hide as well. Then what I'll probably do is I'll cut it up the center to uh, the hide at least and uh, stretch that out so I got a full rabbit hide to work with. Um, I got a handful of these a buddy of mine had done. He used a, uh, did a battery acid form of tanning. Um, I'm going to use an egg yolk which is a uh, uh, works very similar to brain tanning salt the hide and let it set for a couple of days then uh, knock off the salt uh, take the yolk of an egg 
uh, mix it real well and smear it over but I'm gonna show you that process as well I just wanted to uh, kind of give you a heads up on the method I'm choosing to use uh, also what I have done um, is I just put a nail right here and use a uh, piece of rope attached to the back legs hook it around this nail so I got something to work with and I always use this uh, the small knife I've processed deer with this squirrel uh, rabbit and uh, this is the, the knife I'm going to use it's a cheap knife um, it's I believe made by Winchester and came in a field dressing kit for deer um, and then I made that sheath for it out of a deer that my son killed uh, when he was 10 is his first deer um, so uh, and I tanned that one with uh, uh, black walnut husks so uh, it's the knife I'm going to use and uh, like I said I'm going to uh, go disperse one of the animals and uh, we'll get started all right guys I wasn't liking how the whole broom sticking thing was going to work so I decided to do the uh, the other method by just uh, angling them up uh, high and uh, just hitting them uh, with a significant amount of blunt force directly to the back of the head. So uh, I did the trick. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the skinning here. So, I'm wanting to save the hide on this guy. So, what I'm going to do is, all right. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make an incision around the legs and up through this section here, going uh, around his genitalia, and then come up. This section and go around that leg and uh, here's that knife I was showing you just always works good for me all right
go. Once you get that hide going, uh, it comes off real easy. And if you can stick your finger up in that hole, run it right along that bone, kind of gives you a little place to uh, put your knife in to make your incision. And then you can just uh, pull. Looks like I got a little bit of the meat here attached to that skin. There we go. So now I'm going to go get it tied up so we can pull the rest of the hide off. <laughs> 